Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 6 of Let's Try Production Line. This is the latest title from Poztech Studios, known for such games as Democracy Theme, Big Pharma. Keep in mind this is an early alpha game. We are at version 1.02 today, very early. It's only only been out less than a week at this point. So, uh, we should expect some bugs and uh, minor glitches and weird little idiosyncrasies. Uh, but I'm kind of getting used to this game at this point. I did figure out what was going on with our um, our uh, autosave bug, so uh, m this is this is already supposed to be fixed. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. This is already supposed to be fixed in the next alpha, so you probably won't even have to worry about it. Uh, but uh, currently, this means that something is turned off, and this means that it's turned on. I don't quite understand how we're supposed to know that, but I'm pretty sure that, that now the autosaving is turned off, so it won't autosave and it won't crash on us, but just to be sure, I am going to uh, do a manual save here in a few minutes, and, and uh, hopefully we won't lose our progress so far like we did yesterday a couple of times. Um, so when we left off, we were going to uh, move these uh, fit body frame and set up whole new versions of the fit body, fit body frame line over on this side of the uh, on this side of the map um, so and we have two of them going as well so we're probably I, I know that the the next slowest line is going to be 13 seconds at this door uh, at the door assembly up here um, 13 and a half seconds to get through that one we might um, do the research to break that down but I think within our fit body frame there are, uh, we have six, four, four, nine, four, eight, and four. Great, so 13, I mean, uh, uh, nine seconds will get us to the, we'll get them out faster than that 13 second thing is going to be able to handle it. So I think all we really need to do is just set up one of them, um, which will replace the two that we've got going there. So I feel like. We're doing a pretty, you know, I don't necessarily need to keep everything jammed up tight, though. And uh, this one, I think, can actually, would would serve well to get its own uh, input of items there. So let's go ahead and do this broken down on a buy item. Or, you know what I mean. We're just gonna, we're just gonna break it down with one station for each, each thing. That's fit trunk. So roll cage, hood, trunk, bumpers, bottom trim. We need to keep those separate, really. And arches. I don't even know what arches are. Oh, we're out of room here. Front vent. Um, hmm. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Like that. Now, in the event that I want to split this out into two... I guess I could have this one go like this, and I could have a second one go up here. So I think I'm going to leave this area empty up here, and I'll have a wide uh, loop coming back down to here. And I think down here we're probably going to break down fit doors into its own thing. Oh, we got to go through fit roof as well. Uh, and what is fit roof? That's nine seconds. You know, I might just tear this out so and then replace it up here just, just for the um, uh, convenience there. So I don't really want to lose all these cars that I have sitting on our conveyor belt right now. So we're going to go ahead and... I mean, we're going to lose that one. Um, but we're going to go ahead and draw our conveyor out this way. And then uh, as, soon as, uh, as soon as the cars clear out to where we can delete the conveyor belt... Like, I, I just want to delete this spot, and then it'll draw all these cars through, and we won't have to worry about them. We, we don't really need to worry about it, you know what I mean? Like, we have enough money to uh, to, to where we could just write off those cars anyways. But, um, I, you know, that I, I want to play, like, in the spirit of the game, and the spirit of the game would be to have the most efficient, like, automobile uh, layout. So, uh, I'm going to leave actually leave four squares here before actually why not leave five um, we'll put that there because it doesn't really matter you're coming out this way we're gonna go this way I guess you have to do it like, shh, oh well we're gonna 
gonna drag from here to here. There we go. Let's uh, save it real quick so it doesn't uh, crash. We're gonna do 105B. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. There we go, save. And, uh, or 10B5, I guess is what we did there. So conveyor. And, well, we want you to, oh, that's right. Uh, saving it, unpauses it. I guess I could delete that block until until this clears out, um, or I could just do I could just do this. Probably be easier conveyor like that, like that. There we go, and, and you're gonna go like that. Good. All right, uh, and I think we lost a car when we did that, but too bad. All right, so we're going up here and. It's kind of where we need to go anyways. We were going to want to try to grab this fit roof. But, well, we could do it. We could, could swing it up through there. Because we're probably going to remodel this whole area anyways. So, that, so you know, why not? Um, yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's actually, we could probably have this game running at slow speed while we do this. Let's set up our uh, importer. We'll just run the conveyor there and like that. And um, can we cross over here? Not quite, but it'll work. And we're going to go down there, one more there. And it looks like that covers everything. So we should start getting cars through there. But the main thing is, is we want to clear this, this area out so we can, uh, we can put in the fit roof. And I think that this this system here should take the cars as fast as they come. Because the eight, four and a half. So they're only, I should only be getting one every 13 and a half seconds. Which matches up pretty well with fit doors. So in theory, this new line that we're setting up should get cars through with no slowdown. Maybe a very small slowdown. We should be like uh, 1 20th of a second off because of the... Uh, uh, the difference there. Whoops. Unfortunately, these cars are going to stop moving through here pretty soon uh, because they don't have their next destination. I can't send them to there. And I do need to send them to there. That's alright, I think we'll be okay. Now why are you not going into uh, fit front vent? Is it because there's no, like that's where it stops is the before the stage where it can't move on to the stage after that? Hmm. That's okay, we'll build up a little backlog but that's not really gonna hurt. Mostly I just need a couple more of these to go through. That's, oh, that's that's the problem. It just takes forever. I suppose what I could do is divert those cars. Well, there's only one left, so. I'm going to eat the one car there. And, well, that, well, we already have, boy, what a mess this conveyor is, but we already have this bringing stuff up this way, so I don't really need to worry about that. And, of course, everything is going nice and smooth to those uh, individualized stations. How much you got left? You're almost there. I guess we could turn the speed up. That would probably get it going a little faster. But not too long. There we go. Good. Okay. So you're clear. There we go. And we'll just run this conveyor all the way down here, and then like that, and there, and there. All right, now we can get our cars moving through at full speed. Uh, we should uh, clear that uh, backlog up before too long. And then we can make, 
Oh, actually, we've already got these things ready to uh, to be deleted. There we go. Oh, you got to be careful when you're in close like this. You don't want to delete those um, resource cables. Very good. Now, it doesn't look like we're running into any backlogs. We have all our, our uh, dryers doubled up, right? Yeah, we have two dryers. Do we have uh, fast? No, faster drying. I mean, it helps a little bit, but it gives you one. Now, the I'm, sh I'm pretty sure it gives you more than one tenth of one percent. I think it gives you a ten percent boost. Uh, all right, power plant efficiency. Yeah, that's right. We should build some power plants. What were we looking at? Door specialization. I don't know that that's going to be necessary at this point. You know what? I want to get is engine assembly because that'll cut down the uh, the problem with um, the problem with the insufficient resources uh, because you won't have you'll have your flywheels and whatever the other piece uh, that goes in there. Not the not the valves, but the um, starter motor. Your flywheel and starter motor can stay in stock instead of having your stock just filled up with valves all the time. And I think that'll speed things along pretty well here. Um, but even up here, we don't really seem to be running into. Actually, we. Uh, yeah, do I even need to double down on our engine uh, assembly? Seems like we could try to get cars through a little faster. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see how things are moving. So right now, this is kind of where they seem to be backing up at. Okay, so it is slowly moving forward. We can see that every three cars it moves up a square. There we go. Okay, so uh, now it's backing up uh, at the fit doors thing, kind of like I expected. So I'm going to slow that down a little bit. And maybe we do want to research fit doors instead of fit engine. How, how far along are we? Not that far. Let's switch over. And uh, there we go. And we'll get that. Um, switch, uh, that sound is so loud. It's funny. I looked at the video and the editing software, you know, and, and I saw these you know like these super big uh, audio marks like you know like I was constantly coughing or sneezing into the camera or something and I was like what the heck happened there you know and then I listened and it's just the background sound from the research sc screen <laughs> it uh, makes it look like things went nuts audio wise uh, on the other hand I do have the theme music turned off I don't even know what the music sounds like uh, I guess we could try to find out I'm always worried about turning any sort of game music on because of the uh, uh, potential for a copyright strike. Actually, even even here, it's like I don't know for sure. I haven't specifically asked whether it's. I know it's hilarious that with the the 35 views or whatever that this uh, that this. Uh, um, Let's play is going to get like I should be concerned about uh, copyright strikes, but uh, my capitalism lab uh, let's play like episode four for some reason got a copyright strike against it, and I think it had seven views. Um, and now you know viewer number eight is going to have to watch a commercial before they get to see my video, and it's like you know I don't I don't run commercials at this point on my channel at all. So I don't really want to have uh, somebody else making money off my channel if I'm not making money off my channel. On the other hand, it's hilarious to think that the four cents a year or whatever that this guy you know is going to earn off of his soundtrack for the game. Uh, but anyways, no no music. That's the whole point of that story. And our research. Oh, that's right. So we're making lots of money, um, and I feel like we're generally. So the dark blue line is our profit. So our profit is not really staying up. Uh, we're, you know, we're doing okay. It'd be nice to see what that is all about. Yeah. Oh boy. So rent, well, component purchases is our highest cost. Rent is our second highest cost, then wages, and then power. 
So I can save a little bit of money by um, by. Uh, there we go. Let's look at it that way. So, yeah. So power purchase is right there. Our third largest expense, I think. Yeah. Okay. So overall, we've lost 65 or 6.5 million dollars. But I know we were down to. I don't even think that's accurate because we were down to 700,000, um, and uh, we started with two million. But you know, we've made some pretty decent uh, returns on our investment there. So I was going to let's go ahead and build a power plant and see what that does. I don't even know how that helps or anything. Um, but we're going to build one anyways. Is there anywhere I should build it? I'll build it up here just to... So that means we're providing 1,800 of the 12,000 power that we need. Um, doesn't... Uh, and it costs $5,000. So we're paying $10,000 a month. And... Uh, two of those is going to provide us with a third of the, or a, well, it's more than a quarter. Yeah. Uh, it's, let's say 30%, so 15% each. So I would need seven of them to hit 100%. So I have to spend $35,000 to save, well, about $36,000 to save $10,000 a month. So they pay for themselves in four months. That's pretty good. Pretty good deal. I'll do it. Five. Oh, I don't really want to build that there. Can I? Nope. I mean, I could delete it, of course. I just did. But I was hoping I would get my money back because I had, like, just set it down. Guess not. Alright, there you go. So now we should be, uh, almost power, uh, there you go. Independence on our power. Um, and I was going to lay down a few more research offices as well. Oh, door specialization is complete. I guess we could go back to, uh, you know, we don't have faster drying yet. Let's get faster drying because I think we're going to want that. And um, we're going to throw down a few more uh, research labs. Sounded like an alien attack there when I laid that one down. Let's, uh, I've got that lined up like that. So, whoops, let's try that. And watch out, alien monsters. Is that mechanoids attacking? Check out my RimWorld series if you're not watching RimWorld Let's Play. That game is really fun. And that's where you'll find mechanoids attacking. They don't really make alien noises like that, but it's the most alien, uh, alien I'm going to run into in any of my games. Um, all right, so now we've got faster research. Uh, that's crawling up pretty good, 1.75 points per second. We're researching at faster drawing. And we are ahead of the game over here. And uh, wow, you're not kidding. That door, fit door specialization. Uh, but we researched that, didn't we? Fit body, fit doors, fit door panel. Fit windows, fit wing mirrors. Beautiful. All right, and we can set those up. So this kind of area is set in case we want to run a second line of those. Um, we're going to want to come back down here. So actually, I could set it up like right in here. Uh, fit door panel. Wow, that is big. Why so much? Fit door panel, fit window, and fit wing mirror. All right, and we're gonna do conveyor there. And where are you coming out at? Here. So you're gonna need to go like that and go out and down, and then you're gonna go over and you'll go up. I say you'll go. I don't want to destroy that vehicle. 
Uh, oh, come on. Alright, you go up. I'm going to destroy this vehicle, too. And you're really not supposed to be sending cars down that way. Alright. Um, no s route to stockpile. That's right, because I destroyed the resource conveyor up here. Because I was trying to figure out how to make that work right. Uh, we are routed to stockpile, but you guys are not. There we are. Alright, so... You should be able to start taking the cars up here anytime. Car? Do we not have that connected down there? It looks like we don't. Be nice to be able to rotate the camera. Looks like it still hasn't connected. Alright, let's delete that spot. And then we'll do conveyor like that and like that. And did it connect it? Shit, it still didn't connect it. Conveyor there, and like that, there, no, all right, you go there, okay, that's good, you go there, all right, looks like that's going to work, but for some reason it doesn't want to go through here, so is that, that's going the right way, you're all going the right way, you're going the right way, and you're going the right way, what's going on? Oh, it's... Nope. This is... Oh, it's because we're skipping fit roof. Well, shit. Okay. I oh, well. This game wouldn't be fun if, if, uh, if it wasn't complicated, would it? So, um, I guess the best thing to do would be to just like slap this fit roof section in over here means we're going to lose a couple of these cars. Where, where am I going to slap it in? Get rid of this stuff. Oh, I guess that's the good news. I can get rid of... Now it's too bad I can't use this one that's already there. But i got to get rid of it, I guess. And this is what we're replacing. So I don't really need to worry about that. Actually, I can go ahead and cut that out, which means I can redo all of the um, all of this stuff that I just wasted all that time on. Great. So we need to knock out a few of these cars, unfortunately, and we're going to put in a fit. So this is the fit door panels. All right, so fit roof, and we haven't broken that one down, right? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. All right, so we'll just put it there. And then we have a conveyor. We'll run you like that, there and there. Great, and we'll do a resource conveyor. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to drag the screen. Resource conveyor, we'll just do this one. I don't think you're going to take so many parts that it's uh, like your stockpile should be plenty to keep everything flowing smoothly. Alright, oh, and we don't have a end destination for this. Which we're going to want to set that up. Wheel specialization, I think, is probably the next good project, and then we can redo We'll redo engine and wheels at the same time, so we don't have quite as quite as disruptive um, as we have had so far. There we go. Close out of there, and it looks like things are gonna move smoothly through here. And we're slowly getting. Uh, looks like. This is going to move more quickly than, than this. The gap is very slowly widening there. Uh, but it's going to be a long time before we before we get caught up. That uh, stopping the plant there really slowed things down for us for a while. Oh, yeah, you can see there's nothing going on over here. I mean, we've got the last of our cars going through. Redoing this engine thing makes such a big deal because all of these insufficient resources... Uh, can kind of be fixed. 
and I set these uh, I set these stockpiles up in a really good spot because now I can redo the engine and um, tire stuff over here as well. To be honest, uh, and these stockpiles are going to be real handy, nice and close to where the finished goods are. It's too bad I can't. I guess I could put them on separate lines too. That would probably be a smart thing. Uh, like leave this one just for engines and then make this import up here just for tires seems excessive though although we go through a ton of tires and wheels and brakes I mean it's 12 per car uh, great alright so we've got that specialization down um, I don't really feel like you know what we should do is start actually making a nicer car so let's um, let's go for Convenience features? Like electric windows, I think, is probably a good place to start. No, you know, well, it's too late. We've already researched a bunch on it. I was going to say that car stereo would probably be pretty nice, too. I don't really know how the uh, convenience feature, you know what I mean, like the improvements to cars. I, I haven't gotten to the point yet where I've seen how they work. So uh, maybe I will uh, play a little more on my offline game. Let's see if I can get a better idea of that. Not quite sure how long we'll run this one before just starting a new one. It is kind of fun trying to work with the mess that I built at the very beginning. And uh, honestly, I don't really see a lot of benefits to starting a whole new, whole new game than uh, compared to uh, continuing on this one. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this episode. Uh, it has been fun for me. I think we're gonna have to drop the price on these cars. Whoops. And we get to choose another research here in the ultra loud research lab. Electric windows, let's do it. Research, close you up, please. There we go. Uh, if you've enjoyed watching, click the like button down below and leave some comments in the comment area. I like talking with all the viewers here and what you guys have to say. This has been uh, fun and uh, come back next time. We'll have more fun. See you then. Bye.